What? You know long left? It's absolutely savage. You just farted. Hello and welcome to another episode of Bike Radar Diaries. Diaries is all about what we like to get up to here at Bike Radar and you can watch all the previous episodes by clicking the link in the video description. This week we faced our first proper fitness test after a month of taking it pretty easy. I think it's fair to say we're both dreading it but it was good to, to get it out there. Yeah. Then we're going to take a close look at Ruben's new Focus Mares single speed flat bar cross bike mashup. There's some really trick components on there, so it's well worth a look. And finally, we'll be having a chat with Benedict and Jack about what's gone up on bikeradar.com this week. Right, it's early December, very early in the morning. You're both looking very uh, happy to be here. Very cold. cold. Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, we're going to go out for an AMKMs, but with a little bit of a twist, me and Joe are going to do a five minute power test just to see, but get that base level for the winter and to carry it on into uh, 2019. It's time to kind of see how much fitness we lost since our hill climb season, which finished in um, the end of October, didn't it? And since then, we've had a good month of a little bit of riding, but a lot of uh, indulging, holidays, stressful house moves for Ruben and stuff like that. Jack, you're along for a bit of emotional support, aren't you? But I've been riding. Since hill climb season, I've actually ridden my bike and I've managed to lose a not inconsiderable amount of weight. So I've only had this momentum during the perhaps I would have been different. I'm sure you've got some excuses about why you're going to struggle today. What's your excuse? Uh, I'm on a single speed. Yeah. I don't have a power meter. Uh, yeah. Ben is also along for a ride. I heard his excuse earlier is that his contact lenses aren't sitting right. <laughs> <laughs> How's your motivation this morning? Oh yeah, I'm keen for riding. I'm really keen for riding. I'm just very cold. How much uh, power do you think you'll have lost in, in a month? It's been a month of kind of steady riding, a good week off of no riding now. I reckon at least 15%. 15%? Yeah. Yeah, I think about the same, probably 15%, 10-20%. Interesting to see. It's more like how deep can you go and like how much can you suffer at this point because we, we haven't done any hard efforts for a good while look at quite a nice morning huh that's why we do it <laughs> love a bit we're on our probably our favorite climb which is the hell climb segment on dundry hill locals was i think i've done it on strava over 600 times now <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's when we do a lot and there's a good kind of section where you can do a big five minute effort. Um, it's a bit wet though now. <laughs> I think you on your single speed should just about be okay. Yeah, oh, speaking I'm going to run out of gears in this. Probably just about see he's already turning quite the gear and this isn't even the steepest bit of the climb. Cadence is still very low. <laughs> Jack's spinning away. Brave boy that Ruben is, you volunteered to go first. Yeah, so. yeah. I went first at Prospect Place, so I think it was a bit of a, a continuing theme. It's a good pattern, right? See you in a bit. Just getting to the start of the segment. About 15 seconds away. Nervous. Do we think Ruben will get to this point on the climb? This is quite far up. Within five minutes? Within five minutes. Yeah, I think so. I think the pressure of uh, the audience wanting him to will push him on. I, I believe in him. You just farted? Yeah, I have. <laughs> that stinks. Does it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's really hanging on my nose. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Quite a good uh, viewing platform here to cheer him from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Like Still waiting for Ruben. Go on, See a swaying light. Look in. Dig in. Oh, he's giving us some serious beans. Come on, Rube. <laughs> oh, he's hurting. You can hear it. Go on, look fast. <laughs> Go on. Go on. Up, up, up. <laughs> What a horrible way to spend it's, the morning. Yeah, <laughs> Poor guy. He's well up though, isn't he? I, I, I didn't know if he'd get this far. Oh. That was 
That's good. You right? The, the anxieties of hill climbs all came rushing back to me towards the bottom. You get that sick feeling and then you're like, oh God, why am I doing this? <laughs> I don't need to be here. Uh, it's, it's about as awful as I expected, but... Do you know you did? No, 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 yeah, I'll have a look and have a little bit of a debrief when, uh, when you're done. Alright. So, because it's your turn. My turn now. <laughs> Alright, well, just as Joe about to set off, Benedict's realised he's got a puncture, so... See if I can get her before he's fixed it. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Getting those grams. I used to many many years ago. You won't believe this. I used to have the second best time on this first half up here. So we once went off one day, and I did my best to keep up with Joe, and I was on a massively overgeared fixie. And then I was near enough sick, just about there. <laughs> He's just coming Come up on, now. Joe. Look at him go! Look at that bobbing head. Go on. Go on. Not long left. Nice and painful. Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah proper strips you like, diff feels yeah. different, doesn't it? That, like iron taste in your mouth. So basically the whole point of this, even though it's a bit weird and early doors to be, to be doing this sort of uh, horribleness is, in about a month we'll be back on the same hill, probably different bikes, but just to see how our initial training's going and give you guys an update because Joe's got a, an early season mountain bike race in Lanzarote. I've no idea what I'm doing. Well, we're even going to get Jack to do a test one day, I think. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? But we're going to go get a coffee now. So, yeah. off we go. So, how are you getting on? Yay, look at that. Let's have a look at your hands. <laughs> <laughs> Rim brakes are great, eh? <laughs> How far have we got before you punch it again? I don't know, like a K or something? Yeah, like two, 2K, but look what we pulled out of Benedict's front tire. That, that's absolutely savage. No getting around that. I mean, that's a concealed carry weapon, that is. <laughs> <laughs> what do we think? How long's that patch going to last? Are we going to get back to Bristol? <laughs> up, 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 up. <laughs> Dig in! <laughs> Couldn't write it, he's done his rear again. And Ruben. Hey, where is it? Uh, mate, it's there. Just there. But I'm, I'm leaving that in. Another big thorn. Done 14.8 kilometers, an average speed of 8 kilometers an hour so far. It's good. Uh, it's good. Uh, What's going on? We'd normally do a bit of a round of what we've been doing at Parsons, a little coffee before, uh, but we're so late because of all the punches we need to sup up and get back, so we'll do it later, won't we? Let's have a look. Still going. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jack's getting very cold, so he's unusually sad for Jack. He's gone a bit quiet. Salvation, after having ridden back on the rim, which is actually in all right condition. Well done, Benedict. Well done. <laughs> Local bike shop to the rescue. Strider Cycles. Nice chaps in here. <sighs> One morning. So we're back in the office after you ride. Mm -hmm. Tough old, uh, tough old session that was so early in the morning. But how did it go then? So it was actually a little bit better than I was expecting. The power was um, a little bit higher, but not too bad. Three nine eight. So 398 average for five minutes. So you've got a rough idea of your weight? I don't want to know what my weight is. <laughs> he doesn't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's a loss of about 10% in power. So what's your record power been? On the same power meter it was 437. Yeah. So yeah, about 10%. About 40, 40 watts lost over about a month of indulgence. But also I was a lot lighter when I did that power record. So 
arguably it's actually more than 10%. Even you know, more. Even more, but that's not too bad. I'm not I'm not worried about that right now. And you're not too sad about the result? <laughs> no, no, not at all, no, but around 400's good. Best start training for next yeah. year? Yeah, I don't, don't, I don't know how we're going to do it, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to be doing something fairly soon. And we want to get faster though. Well, God, we definitely do want to get faster. Because we re reach those highs of hill climb season, we want to get back there, but not too early. God, I got a bit dizzy doing that, shouldn't have done that. So I'm sitting on Ruben's desk because mine is untidy and a bit of a disgrace, so you don't want to see that. Um, the same climb, same time, five minutes, I averaged. 400 watts um it's about the same as you mm -hmm. different power meters so we don't know how you know what that means in speed i did look on strata which you haven't seen you were 14 seconds quicker oh really Up the climb yeah yeah um and i was just saying that morning i weighed about 65 kilos so 65 kilos 400 watts with that power meter which is my road to two and power on my um specialized S works epic long term bike. My record this year was 468 watts for five minutes of the same climb. So yeah, I've lost basically getting on for 70, 70 watts in my month off, uh, which is quite a lot. But I'm still pretty happy with it. It, it felt pretty grim, didn't it? I oh thought, yeah. Yeah, it was, a, it was a tough old test so early in the morning before work. Yeah, looking forward to kind of maybe in a couple of weeks getting a bit more structure and doing a few more intervals and stuff like that because I've got a race at the end of a stage race at the end of January so I need to kind of uh, put my ideas up. Another thing I've noticed is that my um, left leg is stronger than my right. That's a true left leg, right leg balance on the road to turn power. So but you, you had a pretty nasty snowboarding injury so that could probably account for that maybe. Yeah a long time ago, many moons ago when I was a rad dude injured my legs really bad snowboarding and maybe that's why they've got a bit of balance. But yeah. Good morning. Okay, there's my finger, Ruben. <laughs> yeah. Tell us a bit more about your new bike. So this is it's my new old bike. It's a Maris Focus Maris CX. I've had it for about three years now. Um, raced crossing it a couple of years ago. Didn't do any cross last year, and as such, it sort of took up a back seat in the uh, in the pile of bikes. So I wanted to repurpose it, give it a new lease of life. If you remember last year, so some people may remember, I did a mountain bike single speed conversion. Link is in the video description for that. But I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed just riding single speed through the winter. You can sort of definitely beat them up a bit. I wanted to do it again, a bit different. It's a carbon frame, isn't it? It's a carbon frame, yeah. And I think I prefer this frame to the mountain bike one because it's slightly smaller, more aggressive geometry, it's lighter, um, and it just suits me a little bit better. So I have nice wide flat bars, we'll start there. They are Crank Brothers, they are ludicrously wide, uh, 780 mil. Um, so they are properly enduro bars, but they're not gonna stay that wide for very long. So I'm gonna cut them down, maybe to about 740s. That feels about right. So I've got, I've got I ride them with a lot of, uh, with a lot of gap. It makes me feel like a bit of like an old school, cool BMXer, even though I have no skills. Attached to those bars, I've noticed a pretty serious set of brakes. <laughs> yeah, again, they're actually uh, XT four pot brakes. They're probably often seen on enduro and trail bikes. Um, so I'm not wanting for stopping power on this bike. They're, they're very powerful, almost a little too powerful. I've had a few uh, rear wheel skids um, while just getting used to them, but they're, they're great. And then a Wahoo and a KCNC stem as well. Yeah, the KCNC stem I actually ran on my hill climb bike for a while, for a few weeks, and it's, it's really nice. It was a little bit too short on that bike, but for this bike it feels really nice. Again, super light, so that's always nice. And a Wahoo that goes everywhere with me. I've actually got the K-Edge aero mount, which is fairly new. Uh, we put that in an 11 speed a couple of months ago, and that's nice, because the other one lives on my other bike. And finally, very quickly, ESI grips, which you've used for a long time. Yeah, ESI grips, I've used them for years, and these are the extra chunky ones. I started using the extra chunky ones when I broke my hand last year, and it just aided a bit of recovery because you just not knock it a bit much. But yeah, no, they're great. Wheels, the, these are the original wheels that came with the bike. They're absolutely bulletproof. You could ride them anywhere and just not worry about them. They've never gone wrong. Got WTB Riddlers, really nice uh, gravel tyres. They're not the most supple of tyres, but 
they're solid and I don't need to worry about punctures at all, tubeless obviously. Yeah, so you set those up tubeless and uh, what the viewers might not know is there is an absolutely massive thorn in the rear one currently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I haven't taken it out yet, although I got it when Benedict punctured one of his four times and it's still in there. I'd, may, maybe today, maybe today, but... How do those tyres ride? Because they're gravel tyres, but you've done a lot of riding on the road recently, so how do they feel riding on the road? They, they, they ride okay on the road. I've got them about 45, 50 psi on the road, and I'll admit I haven't taken them off road yet, but there's still plenty of time for the winter uh, to get that done. Um, but yeah, they're, they're pretty decent. Then, I guess the most important thing is it's single speed, so how did you go about setting it up single speed? Um, so I learnt my lessons from last year by getting someone else to build it this year. So Mike at Strada, who rides a lot of single speeds, knows his stuff. So he built it, he set it up. So hopefully those issues that I had last year aren't a thing this year. I sort of drew on my experience from last year and ran 34.17 for a while, but I was spinning out too much. So I moved up to a 36.17, um, but I think I'm going to move up again to a 40.18. Um, this is currently 36.17. It's good for steepish hills, but I am wanting a little bit more speed just on the flatter rolling terrain. So bigger gear shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yeah, and I guess, I mean, how does it feel to ride out on the road or out on, you know, the kind of gravel trails? How does single speed feel to ride for the people that haven't done it before? There are times when we've been out for a ride and, you know, I'm doing 40 RPM. And although it looks horrible, you kind of just get used to it. I think there comes a point maybe in three months where I'll be definitely wanting for gears again. Um, but for the time being, you just, yeah, you just get into it and it's not too bad at all, really. Fair enough, and last two things, there's a rotor power crank on there and a specialized saddle you can talk us through. Yep, specialized saddle, it pretty much goes on every bike that I have. I own two of them, they swap between, but it's my favorite saddle, the Power Expert. Um, first rode it on Land's End to John O'Groats, did a thousand miles in a week on it, no issues ever since then, it's been, been my saddle. And yeah, the rotor power meter, again from my hill climb bike, it's really nice having bikes that I could just swap power meters between because then just nice knowing my power. So for that five minute test we did, this is the same power meter that I ran all through hill climb season and it's super stiff. I actually think it feels a lot nicer than just a, a carbon uh, SRAM one um, just because it's just more direct and it just feels really really nice and um, yeah got some trail XT pedals on there just to finish things off. Do you know the weight of it because it looks quite light to me? I actually do should do a live weigh-in. We'll do a live weigh-in. So I have my scales right. I don't know how accurate they are but Eight point one, so not too bad. You could definitely drop at least half a kilo getting carbon wheels on, but it's not a bike that's made for riding up hills. It's just made for cool, fun riding. Very nice. See you later. So then, boys, back from a ride. Benedict, you fixed a few punches today. Only five. Yeah, only five. <laughs> um, but what have you guys been up to this week? We'll start with Jack. So this week I built up my new All City Mr. Pink long-term test bike. So it's very me, steel, do-it-all, winter road bike, mud guards, dynamos, comfortable fit, the whole works. And it's something I've wanted to build for a long time. So we're gonna be covering that on site. We'll have a first look up there and a kind of uh, an overall detail in the build. Bye. I love it. I it's a, it's love it. a peak Jack Luke bike, I have yeah. to say. Yeah. It's heavy, it's weird but it's practical. It looks good though, it looks good. Excellent. Benedict? Oh, well, I've been looking at some new bikes we've got in. Got a very nice Fairlight Seacon in. Uh, and for all the nerds out there, uh, there's a big, big old headset guide coming. <laughs> so you'll be able to peruse that at your leisure. Yeah, wow, you're really treating the audience today. <laughs> <laughs> that's, some, that's some heavy reading. Uh, but for me, um, a good video went up a couple of days ago. It's my Maxis sponsored What's Faster for Gravel Volume versus Grip. 
finally went up after quite a long time. It was, it was a fun, uh, fun thing to shoot uh, and edit, um, but interesting results. Ruben also ended up in hospital during the uh, <laughs> during the filming process. So that's how dedicated he is to uh, getting yeah, to the yeah. finish. Yeah, but it wasn't too serious. But I did have to go to hospital. But that's a good video. So there's a link in the video description for that. I've also been editing a cool new video that's not up yet, but it'll be one about tire size. It's by our resident science geek Seb Stott. He's a experimental physics graduate, so, something like that. So he's been doing some serious testing on tire width for an enduro and trail bike, stuff like that. And that should be going up soon. So that's another episode done. And safe to say, I think we're both glad that that five minute test is over, but we are looking forward to some proper training in the coming weeks. We've got some fun ideas for the next few episodes, so stay tuned to the channel. And as always, do let us know in the comments if you have any questions or ideas for future episodes. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Go on. Not long left. Not long left.